Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video, which unfortunately didn't go so well, I'm going to bench test the Flower Robo 1507 4150 KV motors and then after assembling them on the AJRC Veron 3 Cinewhoop frame, head outdoors and test them out. First of all, these motors are a part of the relatively new Robo line of motors by Flywo, which is based on 1202.5, 1507 and 22.5 by 6.5 motors. These 1507 motors are available in two KV options, 4150 KV, which are the one which I'm going to test in this video, which can handle up to 4S batteries, and 2900 KV, which can handle up to 6S batteries. The weight of the motor, including the full length of its 15cm long 24 gauge silicon wires is 17.7 grams. The motor bell is secured using a C-clip, and here you can see what it looks like after separating it from the stator. In addition, as expected, the diameter and the height of the stator are 15 and 7 mm respectively. Now there are two reasons for starting this video by telling you that it didn't go so well. First of all, on the first bench test of this motor, using the HSKRC 3045 propellers, I smoked it. And in addition, the flight times were very short compared to other Cinewhoops, and the flight performance just wasn't great. So after testing out these motors, I wouldn't suggest using them, at least not the 4150kV version on a Cinewhoop, and I think that going with a 1408 3600kV motor for a 4S Cinewhoop build would be a better option. As for the other components in this 3-inch Cinewhoop build, I used the Cadix Baby Rattel FPV camera, the Rush Tiny Tank video transmitter, a Crossfire Nano SE receiver, the Furious FPV Air RHCP antenna, and the AJLRC Zeus 35 all-in-one flight controller. Since I used an all-in-one stack and pretty light components, the total weight of this build is 236.2 grams, which is very light for a 3-inch Cinewhoop, and it actually could have been lighter using 1408 motors. In terms of flight time, with an onboard GoPro Hero 7 Black action camera, even though it's a very light build, I got between 2 to 2.5 and minutes using a 1500mAh forest battery, and about a minute and a half using an 850mAh forest battery. And since these flight times are extremely short, I can't recommend using this setup, and if you want to build something similar, you should consider using lower KV 1408 motors, which should extend your flight time. So after this not very successful video, I'm going to wrap up this video with not very successful flights. And as always, I would like to thank you for watching my video. I hope you still enjoyed it and you found it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.